The middle power was the age, it's about 80 and 60,000 years ago. We carried out excavations. Uh, cleaning that uh, uh, crude, polluted uh, sands around that school uh, deck. Uh, not this one, but the next one it's. Do you create a very new machine? He is working over it. Yeah, he is working over it. And do you treat do you treat how is going to the public? Yes. The university is one of the projects in which Turkey um, has been providing development assistance to the Kyrgyz Republic. Um, there are others. Um, this trip of ours today was part of our, the embassy's outreach program towards the international community here in, in Kyrgyzstan. Um, the Kyrgyz people and the Kyrgyz government and institutions know Manas University very well. They use it quite uh, vigorously. But um, we wanted to also show the international community uh, that there is quite a developed university here in Bishkek. We are very uh, happy to host you here. Uh, during the short tour, uh, we would like to uh, give some information about university by uh, seeing and touching everything. It is so small time. Uh, if you want to see everything, at this one day needed. Thank you very much. Having such a, a studio and radio, especially Manas radio, so uh, you know the Kyrgyz government is 
paying a lot of attention uh, to uh, developing language skills and the government is uh, uh, so there is a strong need and I think uh, there is a lot of possibilities uh, to contribute and uh, using this opportunity I uh, <clears throat> am for the second time here some laboratories I've seen but I've seen that during the five years there's a lot of changes uh, we can build up some corporations so we can do that part in those vocational schools while you can concentrate on science and have more publications <laughs> in the <of> science. <laughs> and actually we are now helping the government to improve the pathways uh, through different levels of education from school to primary, secondary vocation and to the university. Uh, the national qualifications framework last year have been approved and now we are working on uh, transferring the vocational system of the country to credit-based system. So hopefully you will, I mean, and if we do the proper partnership mechanisms, yeah. you will start receiving much better prepared students soon who already have gone through all of those workshops. And they, again, can concentrate more on science and higher education. We have very good, very much, uh, very strong background on credit-based education. We have in uh, Western countries uh, experience, also Turkish experience about credit based. That's why, if you wish, if you wish, we can work together. Also. We need some more finance. If Asian Development uh, Bank provides some finance for us, we can do many things <laughs> for this country. The future generation will build this nation, the region, and the internationalization that we talk about. In terms of areas of Potential collaboration, building on what my friend Mohamed Khalil has said, I think the Aga Khan Foundation does a number of activities in the areas of agriculture, in the areas of horticulture in particular. Mm -hmm. This idea of bringing, linking applied research where you know practitioners can work with researchers mm -hmm. to look at integrating best practices into uh, the field, but also providing that field as a laboratory for your researchers to yeah. say these are things that we need to look yeah. at scaling up or this is information we're receiving, these are some trends in the agricultural sector, this is what we need to do and I think therein you have an important role to play of linking science with industry, <coughs> with government policy, with actual yeah. business development in, in a number of areas. We have very good areas for research, we are all uh, we give all the opportunity for all uh, what you want. If you want to uh, have more practice, we have very good areas. Also, research-based uh, education, also we have also very good areas. Laboratory, practical areas, and uh, knowledge together.